So the thunderstorms are gone. We are getting ready to head off again. Popping some seasick pills. Gonna have another 40 miles today. Last 40 miles to Kiel. And gonna have about 21 knots of wind. Which is uh, nice. <coughs> Gonna be on a beam, beam reach and a high reach, I guess. Close halt, maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Last 40 miles to Kiel. And then we're almost home. You're looking forward to it. To the 40 miles or to Kiel. Kiel. <laughs> so just put the first reef in here. Easier to do it here than out there. And I made this new system, so these are the reading lines to pull my eye back there. Really a new block over here. These are coming out of here. So this is my normal one, it just keeps the bottom of the sail stretched. And we have this one, it's for the first reef. It's really hard to pull on this angle. So what I did, I made a block up here. Yeah. Just use this one. I wanna go! I wanna go! But yeah, we are kind of prepared. Yes, it's prepared that we are going to be today. It's going to be fun to get out this. We can go through that easily. But... <laughs> Let's see if we can actually back out of here again. My mainsail was stuck just now, I couldn't get it down. It tries up and down, up and down. One of the white uh, shoes that you just put in your mask actually got loose and was stuck in there. So I cut it out. A little bit of trying now. So yeah, this, this one was stuck in there. Not good. Someone just wanted to turn on the engine and the engine didn't start, like it didn't have any uh, power. So uh, yeah, we just had to uh, detach the... I call it the autopilot and then it worked again, but uh, yeah, definitely off to a bit of a bumpy uh, start here. Should be fine though once we get out at sea, I guess. This is uh, Markstals, Markstal. I can't pronounce those names. We were actually supposed to go here yesterday, but we ended up cutting it a little bit shorter because then we could sail the way we did right now, which is nice. Interesting start of the day so far. Yeah, you don't have to make these things up on YouTube sailing channels, they just happen. But, all good now. This is down, and we're gonna raise it again a few. There's some kind of alarm going on with my engine, it has to do with the water. I'm not really sure what's going on there. But yeah, it is quiet. So just uh, got into the harbor of Marsal. Anyway, it's a small town on the coastline, south coast, uh, a small island. We have quite some water in here. I'm pretty sure where that came from. It might have been from this spot here. Then again, I don't really think it's from there, to be honest, because there's like walls kind of protecting that water from going anywhere, except from under the engine. And the water under the engine actually comes from like the prop shaft leak we have, as I told you guys about in the recap. Can't really see that right now, but yeah, there's a small dripping leak in there. Um, anyway, we are gonna make it dry again, pull all these boards out and put them outside in the sun so they get dry. Get some beers going, research while, why this small lamp started going off just now it could be three different things in my mind it could be that it's saying to us like hey 
your engine is not pulling enough water to cool itself. Could be. Uh, but the impeller has been changed recently. I know that for a fact. So I don't think that's the problem. Or it was because indeed we were not pulling enough water for the engine to cool down. And that was because we were healing over too much. Because we were healing over quite bad. But as far as I know, I don't know, maybe that's actually true. Because this is where it's pulling in water, right? And we were healed over that way. So maybe that actually came too far out of the water. That through hole there where it's pumping water might have come too far out of the water. That's why it was starting to shout our names. If that's the case, then we kind of pulled back for nothing. Because I could have just shut up the engine and like engaged it again as soon as we will be close to... Uh, to kill. I'm gonna check the manual, see what it says, but I think we pull in for a false alarm. But it's better to be safe than sorry, because you don't wanna like get stuck out in those kind of seas and having to fix anything interesting on your engine, because that's horrible. I don't even think I have a spare impeller. Um, but yeah, it's normal it gives an alarm if it doesn't pull enough water for itself to cool the engine. Then that could have been through the healing. I think that's because we were healed over so badly. We were healed over that way and through holes on that side. So it kind of makes sense. All right. Um, let me research that in the manual, I guess, then. Probably the nicest Danish town we've been so far. Looks good. Found a nice burger place. Do some groceries, get an early night. Still have to the uh, There we go. This was supposed to be attached to the and this goes into the mast. Like this. I fixed this up in Fleckerfjord, and the reason there's like a small piece of rope on it is a long story, but well, it's just a dirty fix. Um, I tried, like, if you see these, you have to manually sew them in, sew them in there to attach a new one here. Ooh, stay with me. Almost lost something else. <coughs> I actually lost a carabiner yesterday on the water, so fixing up my mask or my uh, hang up hammock um, so yeah I'm gonna have to actually remove the other fix here and go to school fixes as you know by now relocate that part where are you down here right so all these can go out for now it's nice and attached again Put these back into here. That's my next one. There's the next one. Just to explain you, the shoes go out and then they drop out of here. Normally I have a small plate to cover this up. It didn't come with the boat, so yeah. There we go. So just to show you the problem one more time, or I think that's the problem, let's say it that way. Let's get a headlight out here. So. <sighs> Fuel filter there. And this is the seacock here. So that's where the water comes in and goes to the impeller unit there. There's like a small impeller that turns around and pumps my water straight to that. There was the sensor in there that was apparently uh, saying it got too hot. But yeah, that's what it is for now. Still water there, that's fine. But yeah, I think we were just healed over too much or the boat was just like not having this part in the water anymore because of the waves. Because I was also thinking to myself, like maybe I should have just shut up the engine, right? And then just wait a bit or just wait a bit. I mean, we had to sail anyway. I was just like using it as an extra battery charger, really. So maybe I should have just like, sail straight through not think about it too much and then when we got there we could just like power on the engine again and probably would have been solved anyway 
because at some point we were heading back and the alarm didn't run anymore because I had to start the engine of course at some point just to get back into the harbor and there was no alarm no nothing but that might also have been the engine just cooling down I guess ah well we'll see at least we have a nice night here now not bad tomorrow we'll uh, make it to Kiel probably have some more favorable wind too not sure I keep on saying this we'll probably have some more favorable wind too tomorrow but who knows really <coughs> who knows alrighty well that's it for now heading out tomorrow once again we only did like a lousy 10 15 miles today <laughs> yeah all right everyone thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed um, to be very honest I'm not really happy with the quality of the videos right now I'm kind of in this process of getting some new ideas how to do the videos a little bit different like intro song maybe or not some different formats here every now and then I have some things in mind but uh, stay tuned for that because it will take at least a few weeks before that's like implemented kind of depending on the time of course I have um, yeah I hope you have a really good day oh um, apparently I have to say like and subscribe so uh, please do that if you like what I'm doing like the video and subscribe to my channel it would be great um, apart from that have a good day guys enjoy